हेलो हेलो अस्मिता हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल सो टुडे इज अ संडे ऑल ऑफ यू प्रिपेयरिंग सो मेनी ऑफ यू सो दे सेशन इज फॉर द टारगेट एग्जाम 18th अक्टूबर एंड दोस हु हैव इट ऑन द नेक्स्ट डेट ऑन द सेकंड और द और द सेकंड डेट और द थर्ड डेट सो दे ऑल विल गेट मोर नंबर ऑफ रिविजंस सो यस सो दीस आर ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस आस्क फ्रॉम रेस्पिरेशन एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन राइट सो इट विल बी अ वेरी हेल्पफुल सेशन फॉर यू ऑल so the questions which usually go wrong i have taken up those questions so first of all how is your preparation going on come on how is your preparation going on preparation is going good today you have to spend the whole day how many of you are having the exam on 18th come on yes okay okay tomorrow is your school exam hello srishti so here renu vedantu master teacher welcomes you all children i am an olympiad expert and i have been preparing students and there are lot many videos on vedantu olympiad school channel regarding the nso sprints so hello ajay so all of you can subscribe so that you get the notifications you can like comment and share share for with your classmates so that more and more students can make use of it now respiration in organisms what do you mean by respiration is it only breathing children what is respiration taking in of oxygen and giving out of carbon dioxide yes taking in of oxygen giving that is breathing so respiration has two parts one is breathing and second is utilization of that oxygen to oxidize food and release energy molecules in the form of atp in mitochondria all of you know that energy is released in mitochondria they are called as the power house of the cell so these are your two lungs so difference between breathing and respiration is breathing is just the taking in of oxygen giving out of carbon dioxide it is physical process just gases are coming out and going no energy is released it is happening outside the cells and no enzymes are involved but respiration is the food which is eaten by you absorbed by the blood from the intestines after it is digested it reaches to each and every cell from cell it reaches to the mitochondria and there in presence of oxygen the food burns to give carbon dioxide water and energy that is how, and that carbon dioxide again comes to the um, uh, blood and from there it is exhaled out through the lungs so biochemic it's a biochemical process it's not physical it's a biochemical energy is released in the form of atp it is happening inside the cell and many enzymes are involved in this yes yes sure yeah. now respiration can be of two types it can be aerobic and it can be anaerobic now you are asking us with the what is atp atp is the energy currency jaise rupees hai paise hai that is the currency so energy in a body stored in the form of currency one minute energy stored in a body in the form of currency called as one second pen is not working one minute one second children energy is in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate they contain energy atp molecules adenosine triphosphate now aerobic respiration is which takes place in the presence of oxygen anaerobic is in the absence of oxygen in aerobic respiration complete oxidation takes place of glucose see if our food is digested in the simplest form in the form of glucose this glucose ka oxidation takes place and carbon dioxide water vapor and energy in the form of atp is released in anaerobic respiration there is less of oxygen so glucose molecule is not converted into entire carbon dioxide water some part is con converted into alcohol so anaerobic respiration mein alcohol co2 water and energy is released right in aerobic respiration it is co2 water and energy end products are carbon dioxide water energy alcohol or lactic acid carbon dioxide and energy in some in your muscles when there is less you are doing exercises so you uh, you are not able, you are not able you breathe fast so enough of oxygen does not reaches your cell so complete oxidation does not takes place so uh, the food gets converted into lactic acid, uh, acid 
सो दिस लैक्टिक एसिड अक्यूमुलेट्स इन योर लेग विच कॉजेज योर पेन एंड फेटिक जो आपको क्रैम्स पड़ते हैं ना पैरों में आफ्टर द एक्सरसाइज इट इज ड्यू टू अक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ लैक्टिक एसिड बिकॉज द सेल्स ऑफ द मसल्स वर रिस्पायरिंग एनोरोबिकली एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन अकर्स इन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल सेल्स हायर प्लांट्स एनिमल सेल्स एनोरोबिक हैपन्स इन बैक्टीरिया ईस्ट एंड ह्यूमन मसल सेल्स राइट यू वॉन्ट टू सी सृष्टि डायजेस्टिव सिस्टम आई ऑलरेडी गिवन द वीडियो ऑन डायजेस्टिव सिस्टम आप वी एस रीनू की सारी वीडियोज देखो जो आपको जरूरत चाहिए उसको डिटेल में देख लो नोट्स बना लो सो आई हैव गिवन इनफ ऑफ वीडियोज और बायोलॉजी की अलग से है केमिस्ट्री की अलग से है राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फोकस ऑन योर एन एस सो एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन रिमेम्बर एरोबिक इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एयर सो वॉट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑप्टेन ग्लूकोज का फॉर्मुला सी सिक्स एच टू लो सिक्स इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ सिक्स ओ टू गिव यू सिक्स सी ओ टू प्लस सिक्स एच टू ओ प्लस ए टी पी एंड यू गेट यूर थर्टी एट मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ए टी पी इट इज थर्टी सिक्स प्लस टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ये टू आर फॉर्म आउटसाइड द सेल सो थर्टी एट मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ए टी पी इन दिस इथाइल एल्कोहल टू सी ओ टू एंड ए टी पी ओनली टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ए टी पी आर प्रोड्यूस सो इथाइल एल्कोहल का फॉर्मूला इज सी टू एच फाइव ओ एच इन दिस द एल्कोहल इज फॉर्म इफ इट इज हैपनिंग इन मसल सेल्स मसल सेल्स में लैक्टिक एसिड विल बी फॉर्म ओके सो वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रेस्पिरेटरी पाथवे क्या है दीज आर योर एक्सटर्नल नोस्ट्रल्स देन दिस ओपनिंग द कैविटीज जो हमारी ओपनिंग है दैट इज द इन साइड द पैसेज दैट इज द नेजल कैविटी फिर अंदर यहाँ पर ऊपर जाकर इंटरनल नोस्ट्रल्स हैं विच आर नॉट विजिबल दे गो टू दैरिंग्स फ्रॉम फैरिंग वॉइस बॉक्स लैरिंग्स टू ट्रैकिया फ्रॉम ट्रैकिया टू ब्रोंकाय फ्रॉम ब्रोंकाय टू ब्रोंक्योल्स एंड ब्रोंक्योल्स एंड अप विद वेरी थिन ब्रोंक्योल्स एंड देन इन टू एलव्यूलाई एंड देन एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैस टेक्स प्लेस इन लंग्स एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज इन लंग्स ऑक्सीजन और कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड का चेंज so this is the pathway so now begins your quiz question number 1 read the given statement and select the correct option these are single celled organisms which are used in baking and brewing industry these are single celled organisms which are used in baking and brewing industry is it true these carry out aerobic respiration that is fermentation and release ethyl alcohol and co2 are both correct yes now both are correct two is the correct explanation both statement 1 and 2 are true two is not the explanation one is true two is false both one and two are false see once again what is wrong here or what is right is carry out aerobic respiration that is fermentation and release ethyl alcohol and co2 come on so are both correct what is your answer shorya you should meet me once shorya is in which class romit yes romit you should do it do uh, romit attend all nso sessions tabhi 60 on 60 aayenge attend the morning one also and this one also you have done the syllabus till your when is your olympia till your olympia do not miss any of the youtube sessions yes come on which is most of you are correct it is one is to two is false what is wrong in this uh, second statement tell me is carry out anaerobic it was written aerobic which is wrong it was written aerobic which is wrong rest all was correct which is wrong where do you see sugar cane gets fermented to alcohol and then to acetic acid vinegar then to acetic acid vinegar grapes in the presence of yeast they get into convert into ethyl alcohol yes so now moving on to the next which of the following statements is correct regarding the labeled parts x and y in the given figures come on x and y during inhalation x becomes curved inhale you are inhaling the air 
and y moves downward and inward during exhalation when you're pouring the air out x becomes curved and y moves upward and outward during inhalation x becomes flat and y moves upward and outward during exhalation x becomes dome shape and y moves upward and downward so which one is correct come on yes which one is correct yes absolutely inhalation you are breathing in air your diaphragm becomes flat and y moves upward and outward diaphragm where y is a rib cage this is a rib cage and this is a diaphragm yes so this becomes flat during inhalation x becomes flat and y moves you are upward and outward to fill in more and more air you have to fill more and more air it's inhalation so y moves upwards and outwards because up air le rahe yes so it moves upward and outward remember next quiz number 3 consider the following statement and correct option which correctly identifies true or false how many of you want to take 60 on 60 you know in so many 60 questions aayenge your silver zone will also go good your nstsc will also go good and in your school also you will never make conceptual mistakes because olympiad ke all questions are conceptual please give me the answer of third dash because i don't come to know you are answering the previous question or this one because there is always a lag of few seconds between my speaking and your answering consider the following statement select the option which correctly identifies true and false ones yeah in earthworm air enters the body through spelly let us see what they are asking it's asking false true false true so you also write in earthworm air enters the body through spiracles just recall spiracle se kon breathe karta hai which organisms during heavy exercise we get first you write on the paper first write ki first ke sath answer kya hoga it's true or false second ke sath kya hoga third ke sath kya hoga then you answer over here yes so during it 60 marks 50 questions 60 marks 50 questions during heavy exercise we get cramps in the legs due to accumulation of lactic acid at rest the normal breathing rate in an average adult person is 12 to 18 times per minute during exhalation the ribs moves downwards abhi humne inhalation padha tha now it's exhalation so what is true what is false you first write it down nahi ek ek karke nahi answer karo yes you answer it from here yes so uh, aiw says false true false 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 true false false to koi option hi nahi hai which one is the option out of these you answer me third ka answer is what Yes, different answer. See, यही तो बात है कि एग्जाम में आंसर ठीक होगा नहीं होगा आपको नोट करके रखना है हाउ मेनी ऑप्शन वेट करेक्ट आंसर इज ए ओनली फर्स्ट इज फॉल्स रेस्ट इज ट्रू एयर कैन इजिली पास टू स्किन ऑफ एन अर्थ फ्रॉम द एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू द मॉय स्किन एंड कैपिलरीज इनसेक्ट ब्रीद थ्रू स्पायरिकल्स इनसेक्ट ब्रीद थ्रू स्पायरिकल्स कॉक्रोच विल ब्रीद थ्रू स्पायरिकल्स earth was breathe through uh, this moist skin let us read again during heavy exercise we get cramps yes in breathing rate in an adult person is this much during exhalation ribs moves downwards and in inhalation they moves upwards yes srishti you are also doing good very good congratulations i am happy for everyone all of you are wonderful kids wonderful kids i can't clap over here agar aap yeah had you been in uh, our vedantu uh, platform i would have sent applaud for you yes next question 
ऑब्जर्व द फिगर सो चिल्ड्रन वन थिंग यू नोट डाउन की यू हैव टू रिवाइज ऑल डायग्राम्स एंड रीड एवरी लाइन ऑफ बुक सो दैट यू डोंट मेक अ क्वेश्चन आप ऐसे मत सोचना कि नहीं मुझे तो आता है बुक्स की लाइन पढ़ ऑब्जर्व द डायग्राम ये वाला रिब्स केज है दिस इज द डायग्राम दीज आर द लंग्स what what will be the condition of the given structures when we breathe in air inhalation is taking place abhi humne kiya hai rib cage kya hoga abhi humne kiya hai to rib cage will what yes come on rib cage would be what or inhale karna hai to air andar aani hai to andar koi cheez kab aati hai jab koi pressure se kheech raha hota hai yes so nsc sprint is done by nidhi ma'am children yes it is done by nidhi ma'am you will get all good lectures here and you get many olympiads so please go to vos reno nso sprints you will get last year sessions also each and every session of mine is important it's not just about the time pass you will gain so we had done it recently and i am getting the answers srishti soch lo yes and srishti is right it's up and out diaphragm contracts because it becomes flat and lungs ka pressure yes see rib cage up and out diaphragm rises lung pressure is high this went wrong sorry ye wala this was the correct option this is wrong lung pressure has to be high then only the air will be filled in when the diaphragm contracts it moves down towards the abdomen see to it moves down towards abdomen this movement of the muscles causes the lungs it becomes flat actually and fill in the air like the inhalation conversely when the muscles relax the thoracic cavity gets smaller the volume of the lungs decreases and the air is expelled that is exhalation so you are what will be the condition when we breathe in air inhale kar rahe to up and out jab lung pressure high hoga tabhi air andar jayega ओके okay. और जब लंग प्रेशर कम होगा तो वो दब के बाहर निकल जाएगी वन मिनट वन मिनट चिल्ड्रन यस लाइक अ बेलोस यस सो कन्वर्स लीव इन द मसल्स रिलैक्स द थोरा से गेविटी कैट स्मॉलर वॉल्यूम द लंग्स डिक्रीज एयर इज एक्सपेल राइट नेक्स्ट The given diagram shows the rate of breathing of person changes under different conditions. At the beginning of each experiment, the person is breathing in atmospheric air. What conclusion may be derived from the graph? Read the question. Yes, children, come on, read the question. Que question number five. The given graph shows how the rate of breathing of a person changes under different conditions. Come on. Yes. Are you reading? I've lost your chat link. One minute, children. Yes, getting back. come on yes yes come on answer at the beginning of each experiment the person is breathing in atmospheric air what conclusion may be derived from the graph the given graph shows the rate of breathing yes at the beginning of each these are the breaths per minute this is the time the person is breathing in atmospheric air what conclusion may be derived from the graph 91% oxygen 9% co2 yeah here it is 21% oxygen and 0.03% co2 here it is 100% oxygen the each experiment the person is breathing in atmospheric air what conclusion may be derived from the graph what it shows Yes, one minute. I'm going back to the last question. I have to discuss on that. I have to discuss on that. Chalo, let's go back. It was actually right. Ye nahi nahi. Ye nahi hoga. Low hi hoga pressure. 
बिकॉज क्या होता है कि जब बलून में आप ऐसे सोचो बलून में प्रेशर लो है इट्स राइट सॉरी इट वॉज करेक्ट ओनली बलून में जब प्रेशर लो होगा तो आप उसके अंदर एयर भर पाओगे हाई प्रेशर टू लोअर प्रेशर ब्लोइंग इन एयर बट वेन यू क्रिएट अ प्रेशर इन इट द एयर इज एक्ड आउट सो रिप केज विल मूव अप एंड आउट डायफ्राम विल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मोर थोरेसिक कैविटी सो द प्रेशर इज लो और एयर ऑलवेज रशेज फ्रॉम हाई प्रेशर टू लो प्रेशर सो एयर विल कम इन साइड राइट सो सी इज द राइट आंसर सी इज करेक्ट C is correct here, children. This this is because of this it went wrong. Sorry, there was a yes, yeah. C was correct. Thoracic cavity increase हो गई ना तो क्या हो गया? Pressure decrease हो गया. उतना pressure नहीं रहा तो air always rushes from high pressure to low pressure. Now look at this. At the beginning of each experiment, the person is breathing in atmospheric air. What conclusion may be derived from the graph? Yes. Yes. What conclusion may be derived from the graph? Breathes per minute means जब ninety one percent oxygen है body में और nine percent CO two है. So that time what is the breathing rate? It's increasing twenty one percent oxygen plus point zero three and here hundred percent oxygen. This is the atmospheric air. So breathes per minute high level of oxygen in the air. Causes breathing rate to drop regardless of CO2 level. Yes, hello Jatin. New increase in CO2 level in air causes breathing rate to increase up to a limit. Breathing rate is controlled only by oxygen content of air and is independent of CO2 concentration and none of these. Let's check. Increase in CO2 level in air causes breathing rate to increase up to a limit. See here. Go back. Yes. See here. It was hundred percent oxygen. Here it was point zero three percent. Ah, hundred percent oxygen. So no CO2. So breathing rate will be less. Aram se oxygen mil rahi hai. Yahan par point zero three percent hai. Breathing chal rahi hai. Yahan CO2 बहुत बढ़ गई atmosphere में. तो आप जल्दी जल्दी ब्रीद करोगे बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट मोर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन बिकॉज सीओ टू लेवल एज इनक्रीज सो दे फॉर योर आंसर बी इज करेक्ट सो दीज आर द क्वेश्चन विच गो रॉन्ग चिल्ड्रन जब आपके क्वेश्चन आते हैं थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी क्वेश्चन एवरीबडी विल डू राइट योर रैंक विल बी डिसाइडेड बाय दीज टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच आते हुए भी गलत हो जाते हैं बिकॉज यू गेट कंफ्यूज अकॉर्डिंग टू द ग्राफ कंसेंट्रेशन सीओ इंक्रीजेस ब्रीज पर मिनट आल्सो इंक्रीजेस बट बिकम्स कांस्टेंट आफ्टर रीचिंग अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम नाउ गो टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 इफ अ पर्सन इज अनेबल टू ब्रीथ ऑन हिज ओन ड्यू टू सम मेडिकल इलनेस एन आयरन लंग मे बी एम्प्लॉयड टू टेक ओवर द रोल ऑफ द डायफ्राम a person is unable to breathe on his own due to some medical illness lung may be employed to take over the role of the diaphragm and intercostal muscles the person is placed in a cylindrical chamber called iron lung while his head remains outside the cylinder an air tight seal is placed around his neck changes in the air pressure within the iron lungs allow the flow of air into and out of his lungs which of the statements about the iron lung is correct yes now breathing with an iron lung is still possible if the patient's trachea is completely blocked during exhalation the iron lung causes the patient's lung to expand exhalation we breathing out the air during inhalation the pressure in the patient's lung is increased Inhalation, exhalation is possible even if the patient's lung is punctured. You have to tell which of the following is correct. Come on. Which of the following is correct? Yes. Waiting for your answer.
Yes. During inhalation, the pressure in the patient's lung is increased. Is it right or wrong? During exhalation, iron lung causes the lungs to expand. You have to tell which is correct. Breathing with an iron lung, uh, lung is still possible. The patient's trachea is completely blocked, which is correct. Inhalation, exhalation is possible even if the patient's... See here. Iron lung take over the role of the diaphragm intercostal muscle help in inhalation exhalation by changing pressure of the lungs with respect to environment. So inhalation exhalation possible even if the C due to the external. These are all medical aids which are happening nowadays. Right. So next is it was an important question. It was important. Consider the following statement. Select the option which is correct. Come on correctly identifies true or false this we have already done so yeah we i am skipping this in earthworm air enters this we have done children this is a repeat it was done transportation in organisms transportation means how the circulatory system of blood it is the circulatory system of blood right and through which the digestive food is also taking uh, part. So it is mainly the function of the heart. How does the blood flow? Now see lungs. Lungs say, see, arteries carry pure blood. Remember, artery carries pure blood. Means oxygenated blood. But remember, pulmonary, but pulmonary artery, come on, note it down. Pulmonary artery carries deoxy blood, deoxygenated blood. Wo ulta karti hai, right? Veins carry, veins carry impure blood, whereas veins carry impure blood, whereas pulmonary vein, pulmonary vein carries which kind of blood? Veins carry impure blood. But pulmonary veins carry which kind of a blood? Pure blood. So from lungs, the pure blood is taken by pulmonary veins. Draw this diagram. Then it reaches the left auricle, left ventricle, aorta. From aorta, it is distributed to the body tissues. Then vena cava, inferior and superior vena cava, they bring blood to the right auricle, right ventricle for purification. Then pulmonary artery takes it to lungs for the exchange of gases. Right. So now your question starts. This is the uh, diagram of the heart which you have in your grade 7 school book also. So this diagram all of you are familiar with that there are walls. There is the left auricle, pulmonary veins. Then there is a semilunar wall, atrioventricular wall, ventricle. So first the blood comes to the left ventricle and from right ventricle it goes for the purification. So now major excretory transportation, excretory system is also there. So what are the major excretory organs in protozoans? It happens through simple diffusion. You get definitely the question from this. In porifera and cylindrate, water base, almost all their cells means it passes through the Cell may pura ka pura water pass with exchange of gases takes place and then they are thrown, the water is thrown out with exchange gases. In platyalminthes and nematoda means eschelminthes, just may ascaris aata hai. Which cells are there? Flame cells are there. Jo flat worms hote hai. They come under this category. Flat worms. Right. Anilids, nephridia means it is the earthworm. Arthropoda means insects. Spiracles are for breathing. Malpigium tubules for excretion. Mollusca, metanephridia. Echinodermata, water muscular system. Reptiles, birds and mammals, kidney. Right. Now, organisms. This is most important. This and this slide. This summary you will not find in any of the books. It is the summary. Kisi book mein? Koi part hoga, kisi book mein koi part hoga. So, and every time the question comes on excretory system, respiratory system, ki kis se respire karte, ya kis organ se excrete karte, so this is very much important. Then, 
एमोनिया इज एक्सक्रीटेड और यूरिया इज एक्सक्रीटेड और यूरिक एसिड इज एक्सक्रीटेड देर एमोनोटेलिक और यूरियोटेलिक और यूरिकोटेलिक दिस इज अनदर इम्पोर्टेंट सो ऑर्गेनिज्म हु प्रोड्यूस सोल्यूबल एमोनिया एज नाइट्रोजनस फेस जब प्रोटीन डाइजेस्ट होता है तो एमोनिया यूरिया यूरिक एसिड इज प्रोड्यूस तो जिसमें ज्यादा एमोनिया एंड नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट है दीज एनिमल्स आर कॉल्ड एज एमोनोटेलिक दे आर मेनली अक्वेटिक एनिमल्स लाइक फिशेस टैडकोस एंड इकाइनोडर्म्स सो यू विल गेट दिस ऑर्गेनिज्म इज एमोनोटेलिक सो व्हिच ऑर्गेनिज्म इज एमोनोटेलिक फिशेस टैडकोस लर्न देम एनिमल्स दैट एक्सक्रीट यूरिक एसिड आर कॉल्ड एज यूरिकोटेलिक फॉर एग्जांपल बर्ड्स स्नेक्स लिजर्ड्स आर यूरिकोटेलिक व्हिच एक्सक्रीट यूरिया जिसमें ह्यूमन भी है mammals including human beings cartilages fish bony fishes they are you they excrete out urea so uricotelic ammonotelic and ureotelic these are the organisms so remember kon kon sa hai please take a screenshot of this slide revise it before the exam yes revise it before the exam yes we'll do that srishti time bahut kam reh gaya vascular tissue now प्लांट्स में कैसे चलता है प्लांट्स में जायलम एंड फ्लोइम से चलता है जायलम दे कैरी वाटर फ्लोइम दे ट्रांसपोर्ट फूड सो जायलम ट्रांसपोर्ट्स वाटर फ्रॉम रूट्स टू द एंटायर पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट एंड फ्लोएम लीव्स से मैन्युफैक्चर्ड फूड इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड थ्रू फ्लोएम सो ट्रांसलोकेशन ऑफ फूड टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू फ्लोएम एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ मिनरल्स एंड वाटर थ्रू जायलम एंड नाउ योर क्वेश्चन टाइम बिगिन सी द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आस्क्ड हियर कम ऑन observe the given figure of a blood smear prepared by a lab professional uh, identify cells x y z and select the correct statement children bio he wrong hoti hai exam mein sabse zyada bio is most critical in this olympiad exam which will go wrong so how many of you want to take full marks come on send me the thumb how many of you want to take the top rank come on jaldi se thumbs up come on quickly yes you will surely do that i want to see your enthusiasm i want to see your spirit yes are you really enthusiastic for good scores say yes ma'am i'm waiting for your yes yes okay srishti has given me the answer but i'm waiting for your yes yes so lab professional identify x y z x is here this is z and these are y Yes, very good, very good. I'm happy here. Yes, Neha. X produces very good. X produces special protein substances called antibodies that protect us from infection. It's a blood smear prepared by a lab professional. Blood ki cells saying. So X, which si cells are? Do they produce protein substances called antibodies? Reduction in number of Y. Y. leads to excess loss of blood from the wound kya ho sakta hai platelets the amount of z goes down when there is infection in the body or both b and c are correct so what is your answer yes its platelets ka count agar low ho gaya to excessive loss of blood hoga x for erythrocytes yes Y are platelets and Z are leukocytes. Leukocytes का number will increase when there is an infection, and platelets aid blood clotting. So if platelets का number is less, so there will be extreme loss of blood. So that means you have to revise the functions of all the three blood cells. See children, question करने का मतलब ये कि हमें वो topic भी revise करना है. Read in between the line. So there are three types of cells: X, Y, Z. X is biconcave, disc shaped, and contains hemoglobin. Y protects of many diseases and fight against infection. They are leukocytes. Z helps in blood clotting. Select the incorrect option regarding X, Y, Z. ये उसी के से related question है same type. It is saying X R by concave disc shape contains hemoglobin. So identify which type of cells are there. Yes. No, you need not study tenth, eleventh, twelfth books for Olympiad. Abhi par for this Olympiad NSO. From your course only, the questions come tricky. From your course only, Y protects us from diseases and help fight infection. Z helps in blood clotting. So select. People living in high altitudes have higher X count as compared to people living in plains. High Y count indicates some infection in the body. You have to tell incorrect. decrease in z count also indicates infections like dengue 
people decrease in Z counts. People with very low X count continue to bleed even from minor injury. So which one is wrong? Answer me ninth ka answer kya hoga? Ninth ka answer kya hoga? Wo thik hai. X, R, B, C, A, Y, leukocytes hai, Z platelets hai. What will be your answer? Which is incorrect? This because platelets, it should not be R, B, C, it should be platelets. And platelets are Z. Their number decreases when a person is suffering from dengue. Leukocytes count increases when a person is suffering from infection. People living in high altitude need more oxygen, so more RBC because they carry a hemoglobin, right? Have higher X count as compared to people living in plagues, right? Absolutely correct. So platelets aid blood clotting. People with very low platelet count continue to bleed even from minor injuries. So Z was incorrect. Question number 10. The given figure shows a cross section. Now you see a lot of questions are being asked. These are all previous year questions, important questions. So you bilkul to ke diagrams, uh, blood uh, ke cells, ke blood ke components should be very much clear to you. Cross section of two blood vessels, X and Y found in humans identified. Select the incorrect option regarding them. See, you have to think, consi vessels hain ye, thick hain, thin hain, what? So, they are not asking which is artery, which is vein, which is capillary. They are asking, unke baare mein kuch likha hai. First, apne man mein identify kar lo, which one of them is artery or the vein. And then tell which one is read. Correct pooch hai ki incorrect pooch hai. Read it. X always carry oxygen rich blood away from the heart. Whereas Y carries CO2 rich blood towards the heart. So X carry oxygen rich blood away from the heart. Y is provided with walls to prevent the backflow of blood. X walls are absent in X. X is usually deep seated whereas Y is superficially placed. Pressure of blood is much higher in X as compared to Y. Yes, so you have to answer which one is incorrect. Pressure of blood is higher in X as compared to Y. X is deep seated where Y is superficially placed. Y is provided with walls to prevent the backflow of blood. X carries oxygen rich blood, whereas Y carries deoxygen rich blood. So which one is correct? Answer is a, option A, Y. X is artery, Y is vein. Pulmonary artery carries oxygen poor blood from the right ventricle into the lungs. And pulmonary veins do the opposite job. Therefore, statement in option A is incorrect. Rest all were correct. Yes, X is artery. So, artery are deep seated. Yes, whereas Y is provided with walls. Pressure of blood is higher in artery. So, they were correct about it. Next question, the given diagram shows again. So, you see how many questions from heart have been asked. The given diagram shows blood circulation path in the heart. Which of the following statements is correct? All the questions are important, children. W, X, Y, Z. So, you should diagram bilkul clear. Hona chahiye. Yes. Oracles. These are left side. This is right auricle and right ventricle. This is left auricle, left ventricle. So first the blood is coming from blood con la hai? blood me heart me oxygenated blood are hai? yes come on which is bringing the blood here it is going to the aorta yes so what is there y receives oxygenated w receives oxygenated blood from the lungs yes w receives oxygenated blood from lungs Y receives oxygenated blood, supplies of blood to all the body parts. And X and Z carry deoxygenated blood, X and Z. They both carry deoxygenated blood and X takes it to the lungs. None of these. Tell me, 11th ka answer kya hoga? 11th, 11th dash, 11th answer. 11th, yes. 
They are previous year question. This is 2021 question. Yes. It's B. Why supplies oxygen blood to all the body parts? Why is aorta? See, W is vena cava, which receives blood from all body parts. D, oxygenated blood. X is pulmonary artery, which sends blood to lungs for oxygenation. See, here D, oxygenated blood is coming. It is going to lungs for purification. Lungs ke purification se either the blood is coming by Z. So, vaise pulmonary artery ne lana chahiye tha, but yaha kwaan laega pulmonary vein. And aorta supplies it to the other body parts. Right. So, Z is pulmonary vein that receives oxygen blood by Z aorta which pumps blood to all the body parts. Right. Next. Question number 12. Useful session. Children, aaj marathon hai. So, don't lose... Don't lose the spirit. Don't think he bought there. Okay, yeah. Yes. Come on, do it. Read the following statement. Dash is the tissue involved in transportation of water and minerals in plants. Read the following. Dash is the tissue involved in transportation of water and minerals in plants. Which is that? Soch ke rakho. Transportation produces a dash pull to move upwards. See, what is the answer? Transportation, transpiration produces, sorry, not transportation, transpiration produces a dash push. Translocation takes place through the cells of dash. Dash are known as soldiers of the body. Yes. So, which are known as the soldiers of the body? Come on. Translocation takes place through the cells of Come on, which is your correct? It's xylem, first is xylem and third is phloem because xylem tissue is involved in the transportation of water, minerals and plants. Transpiration produces a suction pull. Translocation takes place through phloem and leukocytes are known as the soldiers. Very good, very good. So first I want to applaud for you all of you attending the session. So should we proceed? Should I take up more questions? I have a full question bank of important questions. Just tell me, should I continue for 5-10 minutes more? All good questions. Yes. The given bar graph shows a concentration of oxygen blood samples from four places, PQRS and circulate system of man, which sample was taken from the pulmonary artery. First thing what? Pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood, which means CO2 is more and O2 is less. So, oxygen concentration blood, PQRS. So, which sample is taken from the pulmonary artery? Come on. Okay, Ramit. Tell me the answer of this. Nail Patil. Come on. Yes, answer is P. Less oxygen. So, it is P. Very good. So, concern artery carries deoxygenated blood. So, you have to do this. Now, you understand. This is again question. Which of the following statements is true in context to the given figure? Yes. Come on. Which of the following is true? But only two, three questions more. Let me just check, children. Yes. Don't lose heart. Oh, two questions more, bus. Yes, we'll finish it fast. Come on, be there. See, this is the true in context to the given figure. This is the heart. These are the lungs. Pele heart make kesa blood are oxygenated. Then it goes, exchange of gas takes place. Yes. So, structures P and S have thick elastic walls to P and S have thick elastic walls to show stretching. So, P and S have thick elastic walls. Are they arteries? P and R carry oxygenated blood. You have to tell which of the following statements is, sorry, I was moving the pen to underline. It moved on to answer. Yes. To show stretching, P and R carry oxygenated blood. Q carries deoxygenated blood at high pressure, whereas S carries oxygenated blood. S, it carries deoxygenated blood. R and S have a series of walls and are superficially placed. So, which is true in context to this? Structures P and F thick elastic wall to show stretching because P is pulmonary artery and S is aorta. This is aorta supplying blood 
to the entire body vessels through capillaries the exchange is taking place and this is the artery so they both have thick walls arteries are thick walls in the veins than veins stretching for high pressure of the blood therefore statement a is true then what was wrong about the others yes p and r carry oxygenated blood nahi p to it will carry the deoxygenated blood to the lungs for the purification which has come from vena cava it is yeah it is going from the right auricle q carries deoxygenated blood no q carries oxygenated blood to the lung that is the pulmonary vein p r and s have a series of walls and a superficially placed no s is the aorta yes next select then correct math see i told you the question definitely comes from immunotelism ureotelism uricotelism so which is incorrect urea ureotelism that happens in mammals man immunotelism sabse primitive mein hota hai jo water bodies mein hai ureotelism is in birds so which is incorrect immunotelism sponges hydra cartilage fish leech crocodile kis mein examples wrong hai urea in frog toad bony fish turtle man uricotelism cockroach pigeon beetle lizard snake urico so which one is correct incorrect sorry which one are incorrect first and second c what examples you have to learn sponges hydra leech are monotelic nitrogenous waste should be ammonia but cartilage is a finish are ureotelic we did this and crocodile is uricotelic cockroach pigeon lizard snake show uricotelism but beetle shows immunotelism so please learn this learn ye bahut important hai aur ye pakka se galat hoga agar aapne isko note nahi karke rakha and you on the examination day you can't go to the session again and again so please see the replay and note down these things so thank you all wonderful kids all the best for your exams be cool one more session is awaited in the evening i think so it's at uh, 5:30 so one more session is there so be there and attend your mental ability sessions also so it's a marathon but it is going to help you in the exam note down all the important points thank you so much